Hi Stampers! Welcome to Great Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you for joining me. Before we go and talk about today's project, I just want to let you know that in the description of this video there will be a link to my blog where all the information on how to create these little treat holders can be found. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these little treat holders I made. Now, my sister and I have this thing about the holiday season. We like to give one another peppermint lip balm. In this case, I think uh, chapstick, it's called candy cane. And so I wanted to make a little box to present her with her lip balm. So this is what I came up with, this little box. This is a real simple little box to make. And I just used a little tissue paper, wrapped up the lip balm, and it just fit right in there just perfectly. But also another thing that I do with these is for example, you can see this will hold some little candies. This is the little, the Twix, the small ones, the minis. And they fit in there just perfectly. And also this, um, I made this one for Hanukkah and it has a lip balm. And this one I made is just, you know, a Christmassy one. And it has a little dove chocolate inside and the little penguin like I said the little um, Hershey's miniatures too will fit in this just fine and this one I believe has another little dove chocolate so once you learn how to make the box then it's just a matter of decorating the box any way you wish so I thought I would walk you through how I made the box and we'll go from there so let me set these aside for now. I think we're going to make, we'll make the snowman one together. Put him over here for now. And the first thing we need is a piece of cardstock. You can also use designer series paper if you care to. That's what I did for this particular little box. I like the cardstock for, um, it's a little heavier. So if you're going to put like the lip balm, it would probably be okay in the uh, one made from the paper, but I do like the cardstock is just a little bit heavy, heavier to give us just a little more of a sturdy box. So anyway, this piece of cardstock measures four inches by two and three quarter inches. And then we're going to do a little scoring. Of course, you can use a scoreboard, but I'm just going to bring in my paper trimmer and I have the score blade here at the top, the gray blade. And with the four inch um, side at the top, we are going to score at one and one half. So there's one and a half. And then we're going to score again at two and a half. Then we'll turn it to the two and three quarter side and we're going to score at one, one inch, maybe. There we go. And also at one and three quarter inches. And that's the scoring. Now we're going to take some scissors, and I have this um, piece of cardstock here that I've, here are the score lines, and on these shorter score lines, we're going to cut those. So I have my scissors, and I'm just going to cut right along those lines to the center score line. Do it on the other side, the exact same thing. And then what I do, bend these a little bit, I do a little mitering on these just so they'll fit in real nice and easily when we do the folding. And then another thing I do is 
on, it doesn't matter which side you choose, but I'm going to choose this side, and I'm just going to cut off just barely, just a little teeny tiny piece from the edge. And that's just going to help the box go together a little easier. This is how we're going to be putting it together. Okay, so the, these are the ones that I trimmed a little bit. But first of all, we want to, this is the right side, we want to put some adhesive on here. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus, but you can use glue dots, you can use the tear and tape, you can use whatever you care to use. And then the sides that I cut the little piece off of, just bring that up. And then we'll do it again on this side. There we go. And now we need to, on the inside flaps, we're going to put some adhesive here and adhesive here. Just fold this up this way, adhere it, fold this over, adhere it, and there's the little box. Now, I decorated this one with a snowman. Here's some little snowman I had. I just, um, this is from snowman season. I just stamped the little snowman in his hat and then punched them out. There's a coordinating punch. And then on the back, just to kind of make it a little nicer, I just punched out a snowman just from the basic white and the hat from the basic black and just glued it to the back of this image so it just kind of makes it a little neater and now all we need to do is put a little adhesive on the back of each snowman and then just line him up right here with the bottom and press now you could leave him like this if you like you don't have to do the other side but I just like to put one on each side and there you go you have a cute little box to put a little candy or the lip balm or whatever you like inside of there. And you can put these in a little gift basket. You could set them at a, um, your holiday table so everyone has a little treat. Um, I have a little tray that I put little treats on for when people come to my house over the holidays and they can take one. So you could do that if you like. But this is just a real quick and easy project that you can do to just do a little something special for the holidays. Just dress things up a little bit. So I want to thank you for joining me and then again remember in the description below this video there will be a link to my blog and I will have all the instructions, the cutting dimensions, and the list of supplies what I made for what I made each of these little boxes with. So until next time, stamp happy.